You want to know the most common cause of menstrual migraine? It's chronic stress. Here's how it works. So after you've been under stress for a long period of time, your body's supplies of a chemical called DHEAS get depleted. Well, DHEAS makes estrogen, okay? So if one goes down, the other goes down. Now, what happens at the end of your cycle is that your estrogen drops even more right before you're about to get your period. And so if you don't have enough estrogen anyway, you cannot tolerate that drop off. Now, we've known about this estrogen withdrawal hypothesis for a long time. It was actually first published in 1972. Science was so cute back then, you guys. It was published by a doctor who published his findings with his patients. It's adorable. I love it. Um, but even fast forward to now, 2023, there was a recent study confirming that, yep, we still think that's what's going on. Let me show you that. Menstrual migraine is caused by estrogen withdrawal, revisiting the evidence. Short story, it confirms that original hypothesis from 50 years ago, and it goes a little bit more into all the biochemical reasons why that is, but I don't want to get lost in those weeds. I want to focus a little bit more on this big picture. What is that link between DHEA and estrogen? So let's take a look at that. All right, here's what we've got. So you can see this biochemical pathway here. DHEAS is in that pink box in the upper left. And as you can see, it gets converted into 17 beta estradiol. Again, that's just estrogen in that purple box in the lower right hand corner through all of these different mechanisms. So there's a direct link between these two chemicals. So then that leads us to the question okay, if so many people are having low estrogen and menstrual migraines, then why are so many people low in DHEA? Well, it turns out that stress lowers DHEA. Let me show you the study about that. So this is just one study of many. Uh, perceived stress at work is associated with lower levels of DHEAS. So, you know, it doesn't have to be work. It can be anything about your life that's stressful. And you can have the most perfect life on earth also and still be under physical stress just from the effects of frequent migraine. Pain is stressful on your body. By definition, it releases stress chemicals. And we can measure those stress chemicals. Here you can see a saliva test on DHEAS. So just to kind of interpret this, this is somebody who's almost 50, that's the black dot at the bottom, and their DHEA level is at the very lower limit of the normal range. Now, this kind of testing isn't really done in mainstream medicine. I'm an MD, but I'm also cross-trained in functional medicine. And it's really in functional medicine where we use more of these tests. And I just think it's such an exciting time to be a part of this because there are thousands of tests that help us understand better why we're actually having migraines. And, you know, during all those years when I was taking care of people in the office and just prescribing pills, the number one thing people would say to me is, okay, I'll take the pills, but why is this happening to me? And we have so many more tools to answer that question now, which is awesome. I get migraines, my daughters get migraines. And I think what we all really want is true healing. Pills are fine. Sometimes you need them. But I think we all want to feel better and fix those underlying problems to listen to the pain signals in our body, pay attention and figure it out. So that is what tests like this allow you to do. So let me show you some very effective evidence-based ways to reduce the impact of stress on your body, raise your DHEA, allow your estrogen to normalize itself and get rid of menstrual migraines. And I think the place to start is just to carve out time. Now, I feel like sometimes when we go on vacation, we need a vacation after our vacation. So carving out dedicated time for the purpose of healing, that's an important first step. Massage. I think we all intuitively know that massage is good for us. It makes us feel amazing. And there are lots of studies to back that up. Yoga. Now this one is my personal favorite. I came to yoga in my thirties during a time of huge anxiety in my life. And it was really my introduction to Ayurveda, which is also a type of medicine that I bring into my work with headache people these days. 
And there are thousands of studies confirming that yoga does reduce the impact of stress on your body. But I feel like it's one of those things that you have to feel in your body in, in order to really understand the benefit. Like, I can't just tell you there are studies. You have to experience it. You have to embody it. And meditation, super fascinating new data on meditation. Now, a lot of this is being done by Dr. Joe Dispenza as part of his week-long meditation retreats. I am part of his Inner Health Coalition. We are a group of doctors all over the world who are studying how meditation affects the body. And I'm just going to tell you one thing that's going to blow your mind. We can draw blood before and after the week of meditation. We can look at three thousand different proteins and what we find after just one week is that two-thirds of them have moved in a direction of healing now that's incredible and of course sleep is a huge part of helping your body recover from the effects of chronic stress now this is one of the bedrooms at an eco-friendly resort called shinalani I have taken my kids here. I've hosted retreats here. It's uh, south of Puerto Vallarta, and you can only get there by boat. This place is incredible, you guys. So I think that you know, carving out time for healing in a place that's so close to nature, where you are essentially forest bathing 24-7, can be a super powerful piece of healing. And part of what helps people recover also is using new smart devices. Because let's face it, you're not gonna heal overnight. You're just not. And when you have to put in all the time and energy up front before you start to feel better, you can wonder if you're on the right path. That is normal, it's totally human. So what these smart devices do is allow you to measure your nervous system so that you know you're on the right path. You know that if you just stick with it, that healing is just around the corner and you're gonna feel better pretty soon. So I would like to invite you to join me for my next retreat, the Restore Your Vitality Retreat. It's happening September 17th through 21st of this year at Shinalani outside of Puerto Vallarta. You can find more details at migraineleafcode.com slash retreat hyphen 2024, and I'll drop the link below the video. And when you sign up for the retreat, I will send you a link so that you can get your salivary DHEAS checked. And then on retreat, I will show you how to do the specific yoga and meditation practices that are most helpful to help your body, heart, mind, and soul recover from the impact of chronic stress on your health. And I'll show you which smart devices are most helpful to you, which ones give you actionable information, and how to use those to monitor your nervous system as you heal.